Hello, Chuck and Lucille. Here's the property on uh, Wind and Sea, 3864 Wind and Sea. We have a uh, western exposure on, this, on the uh, front of the house. Here's a shot of the neighborhood. Coming in down this road, there's the, uh, a gate. This is a gated community. There's the property across the street. Very well kept properties. And now we will uh, head over to the entrance. I hear somebody practicing piano next door. You got some big trees in the front yard. And some stepping stones towards the front entrance. Nice stonework in the front. Three car garage. Looks like a direct TV satellite on the roof. This is a nice property. Double door entrance. Look at this stonework, very nice. Not sure what this is, let's see. Okay, that's where the uh, water meter is. Okay, that's your water line and sprinkler system. Here's the view out front. To the entrance and shall we go inside? It opens up very nicely. Looks like you have a security system. We'll start on the south side. You have a uh, dining and a sitting area with a fireplace. Big front windows. And we'll head over to the dining area. And there is an entrance to the backyard. Pool and spa. Some palm trees. This is a good size lot. And it's very quiet over here too. So that must be the entrance to the kitchen area. And here's the side run with a uh, metal gate. You have motion detectors up here on the house as well. It looks like some sort of business over there and I see security cameras on the back wall. I don't hear any delivery trucks or anything. I don't think it's uh, I think it might be an office building. I'll check on that for you. We have some outdoor uh, power outlets as well. And here's a gas hookup. If you want to put a barbecue, there's an old intercom system, more power. It's a nice setup. Okay, heading back inside, back through the dining area. Into the kitchen, built in range, gas, granite countertops. If I find some light. Okay, there's your lighting. Cabinets. Dishwasher. Single base sink. Uh, it is pretty good size though. And you do have the dishwasher. I know Lucille's going to want to see the pantry. Okay, it's deep. We have a built-in microwave and uh, oven. More cabinets. And then over to the uh, living room area. So you have two separate living areas. You have a living room and then a family room. Both of them have fireplaces. Lots of windows. Plenty of window, plenty of natural lighting. And 
here is the other entrance going out to the pool. Two big windows where the sink is, so you can see what's going on outside. There's a little bar area. The tile looks like it's in very good shape. A step up. And we will go to the closet. Little coat closet. We have a step down over here. one of the bathrooms. Here is the laundry room. So you have cabinets. That's where your appliances go. You have a sink. And there's room over here if you want to set up some shelves. And then the entrance into the garage. And here's the three bay garage. You have a water softener, there's the water heater. Garage automatic garage door opener on the two, uh, the two bay side. There's nothing on this side. There is a track to set one up if you like. And to the left, we have the downstairs bedroom. And here's the closet. It's pretty good size for a guest room closet. Or if you needed to use it downstairs. So there's one bedroom downstairs with its own private bath. Shower tub combo. We've made a complete circle on the downstairs floor. Shall we head upstairs? Sounds like a plan to me. First thing we see when we come upstairs is the loft area. So that's three separate uh, living room areas. There's the view to the front of the house. Again, big windows, plenty of natural lighting. And there is one, two, three bedrooms upstairs. This is the one on the front of the house. It looks like there's a shared bathroom with dual sinks. With a tub shower combo. And there's your closet. Okay, so two of the bedrooms share a uh, bathroom. They're pretty good sized rooms too. Good sized closet and you have three doors, three sliders. <laughs> 